Now for a question like this, what I've done is first of all to find a random variable, x. Obviously you can have any letter you like, but I've decided on x. Let x be the random variable number of defective components. And we're told then that we've got to work out the probability that a box contains exactly one defective component. So in other words, for the first part, we've got to work out the probability that x equals 1. The problem is, what kind of distribution have we got here? It doesn't say in the question, so I'm going to define what that distribution is. X is distributed, in fact, as a binomial distribution. And I know that because there's a finite number of trials. We're told that the components are packed in boxes of 10. So it will be 10 for the parameter n. And then the second parameter is p, the probability that we get a defective component. And we're told that that is 1%, 1% of defective, so that's going to be 0.01. So when it comes to working out the probability x equals 1, all we need to do is just turn to our formula for working out probabilities from a binomial distribution. And you should be familiar with this. If not, just go on my website look at the tutorials on the binomial distribution. But just as a quick reminder, there we go. If x is distributed binomially, np, then the probability x equals r equals ncr, p to the power r, q to the power n minus r. q, remember, is the probability of failure. It's 1 minus p. So if we apply that formula here, we've got... For n, it's going to be n is 10, so it'll be 10 c1, 10 choose 1. Probability of success, 0.01. That's raised to the power of 1. We want just one success here, one defective component. And then the probability of failure is going to be 1 minus 0.01, which is 0.99. And that is raised to the power n minus r. We've got 10 minus 1, 9 failures in other words. So all we need to do now is just work this out in the calculator. You should know all the time that nc1 is always the value n. Check it out in your calculator if you like. But that would be 10, 10 times 0.01 to the power 1 times 0.99 to the 9 gives 0.091351 and so on. And if we round this, say, to what, four decimal places, that will give us 0 0.0914 to four decimal places, 4dp. Okay, so that's how we do the first part.